In this video, we're going to use the Casio Classways calculator to calculate the product moment correlation coefficient, also known as lowercase r. Here's the data I'm going to use. So 10 pairs of values. If we put them on a scatter graph, this is what it looks like. Now we can see there's positive correlation here. I'd say this was quite strong positive correlation as well. If we drew a line of best fit, these points are not too far from the line. So there's, I would say, a fairly strong trend here of positive correlation. So the calculator. Once you turn it on, you probably see this screen. We would then want to go into option number six, which is statistics. You can either press the six on the keyboard and it'll take you straight there, or you can use the arrow keys and highlight it and then press six, or you can press equals once it's highlighted. So once we're into statistics mode, it's option two that we would like, y equals a plus bx. We have two variables here and we are testing for linear correlation. Linear is a straight line, y equals a plus bx is the general equation of a straight line. It's so option number two. You might see a third column, which is frequency. If you do, that's fine. You don't need to turn it off. Just leave it there. <clears throat> but if it's not switched on again, it doesn't matter. In this little window here, you're going to see a log of all the buttons that I press. So if you miss one, you can either rewind the video or have a look at this key log to see what I pressed. So first, I'm going to enter all these values into the calculator. So the first one, x value of 1, press 1, press equals, that enters our x value of 1. Now don't worry about that, let's put a y value of 0 in. This is just the way the calculator seems to work. Once we put all the x values in, we'll go back and put the y values in. So it's each x value followed by the equals button. Now I've chosen x values of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So this should be nice and easy. So there we go. After each x value, I press the equals button. All 10 x values are in. Now I now need to get to the y values. It's easiest if we start at the top because every time we press equals, the cursor goes down one. So a quick way of getting to the top is once we are here, press the down key, which takes you to the top of the x column, and then the right key, which takes you there down then right either way around you could have pressed right then then down now the y values so we've got three one one so three one one good idea to always check for mistakes three one one four six four four six four again always checking for mistakes and then five six five Five, six, five, and finally eight. And we should have 10 pairs of values, and we do. Now to find the value of R, we're gonna go into option. So that was the OPTN key that I pressed. And then we want regression calc number four. We get three values, A, B, and R. A and B are for the line of best fit also known as the regression line. So the equation of the line of best fit here would be y equals a, which is 1, plus b, which is 0 0.6, times x. So 1 plus 0 0.6x would be the equation of the line of best fit, also known as the regression line. For this video, we're focusing on the product moment collision coefficient, which is r. And as the scatter graph suggested, we do have positive correlation, and it is quite strong. 0 0.8, the closer this value is to one, the stronger the positive correlation, a positive linear correlation, I should say. So here we've got 0 0.82. Just if you need to calculate another value of R, we just clear the screen, all clear. And then you can use the arrow keys and change the values if you need to. Or if you find yourself back at this screen, 
statistics y equals a plus bx. So long as you stay in this mode, then those values that we entered in the table are there in the background. So from this screen, you could go option, and then number four, if you want to go back to the data values and change them, or if you want to find R again, this time it's option three, looking for regression calc. Okay, that's it.